There's a passage in the canon where the Buddha is talking about a monk living in the forest who gives rise to a desire for material gain. It could be new robes, a bowl, food, better lodgings. And the Buddha doesn't say that desire is necessarily bad. But he does say, say the two things that are important are that one, if he's going to look for it, he should look for it in line with the Vinaya. And two, if he doesn't get it, he shouldn't be upset. If he does get it, he should watch out for the dangers that come with having things. In other words, he shouldn't let his mind get up overturned by his desire for things. And the questions of having and lacking. And if you can search for things with that attitude, you can go ahead and search. And part of the right search is that you search with goodwill. There's another story in the canon. The Buddha and the, the monks have come to one of the Malan cities, and they've had an assembly at the city, and they've said that anybody who doesn't go to see the Buddha is going to be fined. And so one of the Malans, his name is Roja, shows up. Now Roja has never showed any interest in the Buddha or the Sangha at all. Ananda is surprised to see him, so he comments, well, it's really nice to see you here. And Roja says, not because I want to be here, it's because I'm going to be fined if I didn't come. Ananda thinks it's disgraceful that he has that attitude. So he goes and talks to the Buddha. He said, it would really be good for this guy if you could have some goodwill for him. And so the Buddha extends his goodwill, focuses it on Roja, to the point where they say that Roja started looking for the Buddha the next day, as a calf would look for its mother. Where is the Buddha? Where is the Buddha? He comes to see the Buddha. The Buddha teaches him, and he gains the Dharma eye. He becomes a stream enterer. So it's okay to want other people to be a certain way, as long as that your wanting is in line with the principles of goodwill, that it really is good for them. It also speaks to the power of goodwill. I know a number of Ajahn Fuang students who had work that involved c contacting a lot of people. And before making the contact, they would stop and spread goodwill. I know this one woman had a vision code. She would see a flag after doing that. And if the flag was flying nicely in the wind, okay, it was a sign that it, everything was going to work out well. If the flag was drooping, it was a sign, thing, sign that things would not work well. So it's not the case that spreading goodwill will make people do what you want them to do. But it does make things a lot easier, especially since you know that your attitude, your intentions are the best. There's nothing underhanded about what you want, nothing that would cause anybody any trouble. It might cause them some to put out some effort, but as long as it's for their good, then it's okay. Just make sure that as you go through the world wanting things, that you have the right attitude, you go about it in the right way. And the goodwill is behind all of your desires. This is why we try to Develop it every day, every day. Make that the framework for the practice. After all, the Buddha did want the Dharma to be established. He did want the Vinaya to be established. He wanted a lot of people to benefit from it. So he's acting on that desire. It's not the case that things happen without desire. But on acting on the desire, he made sure that it was totally goodwill all around. That's what makes it pure.